Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. I'm John Coleman with my business partner, Art Kirst, the co-founders of Celebrating Act 2. And helping us celebrate today is our good friend, Bill Jordan, the man who has created Embrace the Boom. Yes. And it's more than a mug. I mean, it's a movement. It's an attitude. It's a, it's a way of living as you become a baby boomer is to embrace where you are and not just moan and groan about it. Okay, well, I'm thankful today for our, the relationship that the three of us have as friends, not just as a, a, a wonderful banter, uh, amusing and entertaining our audience, but uh, for the relationship that we've... Uh, we even go to your Facebook page when we're not on the air with you. So we actually like you. Uh, and oh, we're, we're I appreciate that. that. But, but uh, being thankful all the time uh, it's not as exciting as at least once a year when we're sort of thankful as a, as a, a country, uh, uh, families together. Uh, and that's coming up real soon, probably within a couple of days of, uh, of this episode airing. So uh, how's Thanksgiving uh, uh, celebrate around your neck of the woods, Bill? <laughs> You always make it sounds like North Carolina is on this. <laughs> it's like we're on this foreign planet. How do you people do that? Right. Well, for, 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 so. you gotta understand, <laughs> well, you got to understand. You have to understand. Art is a true dyed in the wool Southern California, even though he was, <laughs> even though he was born in Brooklyn. <laughs> right. <laughs> And you can tell by his background, he's at the beach, <laughs> and he's wearing a black T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Right. So of course, everything east of Yukaipa. <laughs> you talking know, to you talking to me? Territory. John, like, John, yeah, need, John, are you talking to me? Yeah, you need a passport to come to North Carolina. Yeah. Uh, well, first of all, with this embrace the boom, you know, I've got a series of practices that help me lead a better life. And practice number one, for every day, is Attitude of gratitude. So uh, Thanksgiving, guys, quite honestly, is my favorite holiday. I think as a kid, it was Christmas, you know, because I was getting presents and stuff. Christmas in my adult life has tended to lend itself to a lot of drama. And uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of drama. And Thanksgiving tends to be more of, I mean, I even get in the kitchen and pitch in mashing potatoes and uh and that kind of stuff, and cutting up some stuff. I don't do the cooking. I don't. I can't handle that kind of pressure. But um, it's just uh, the holiday to just. I mean, yeah, we eat too much, and the tryptophan kicks in, and we pass out on the couch. But it's just. It truly is a day that I really do. I, and I hope more people do. Is I really do highlight everything for which I am thankful. And if you start that list of what you are thankful for, I don't think you could ever end it. At yep. least I, I feel that way. I mean, we were so blessed in so many ways, a in being Americans, and then being that we're still we're still functioning and all that. And there might be some aches and pains now and then, and there are certainly challenges in our lives. And some days are easier, and some days are harder than others. But overall, got a pretty good life going on. Thanksgiving is just a time to celebrate that with those closest to us, and I I, I appreciate it more. The older I get, the more I appreciate it. And it is a uniquely American holiday. Uh, uh, that's what I like about it. It really goes to the founding of our country, which uh, was not perfect, is not perfect now. Of course, nothing's perfect, but it it is uh, it harkens back to our our roots and our basic ideals. So I, I think uh, Thanksgiving is a very important holiday. Yeah, it's really it's a it's a family uh, affair. Uh, although this year, I think many of the Thanksgiving celebrations are going to be done by Zoom yes. <laughs> yeah. because we can't get together. So uh, uh, maybe yeah. maybe this would be good because uh, uh, the old philosopher, Bill Jordan, uh, maybe he wants to opine on Thanksgiving in the day of COVID. Well, you know, I think, you know, as we record this, some things are being lifted and there's a little bit more normalcy coming on. So I think... I mean, in my circle, 
people who are family are still getting together with family. They're not, I mean, not everyone is, but a lot of family and close friends are getting together, getting together for dinners and meals, restaurants are opening. They they may be serving at 50% capacity, but people are still getting in there. And there've been some of the rules, you know, you gotta wear the mask until you sit down. I, that's, I, I think that's one of those arbitrary rules that somebody just thought up. I mean, certainly you're, if there's germs to be spread, you can spread them while you're sitting there. Um, that's for another video. But um, I think we're getting back to a little bit more normal. Um, and I think also when we get back to that normal, I think we need to look back as to what normal was and how much of that normal do we want to uh, reestablish as normal. We can change our own normal. Well, I think one of the things that will remain normal is that half of the people won't talk to each other, uh, <laughs> Might be. especially especially in this. Uh, uh, well, the election will be over by then, but uh, then half the people will probably be pissed off, and half the people will be happy, and and all of the people probably shouldn't talk about it, <laughs> but they should talk about how we're doing as individuals. But but Bill, I know another thing that you might be able to opine on is the Thanksgiving Day parade. Uh, the Macy's Parade in New York City. It's going to be different this year, isn't it? Well, I mean, it, it, are they even going to have it? Yeah, oh, said, I, yeah. They Thank said God. that it's going to be virtual. I, I don't know what that means, you know. So that means I guess you got to watch it online or on TV. Well, right. it's always been on TV. Does that it's mean it's always it, been it, on not TV? Not on Fifth Avenue. I don't know. Well, I think I think what they're doing is going to there's going to be no crowds. Okay, so they'll have to uh, uh, pipe in uh, some crowd noise. They'll probably do all of the acts will be pre-recorded. Uh, I know the bands and everything, they disinvited all. They said, we're giving you a one-year rain check on coming from all over the country because we're going to have the high school and college marching bands. Right, and right, And they're right. only, only going to have local bands. And then they're going to have some different kind of way to control the balloons. They'll bring the balloons down, but I think they're going to be like motorized because there are no crowds or anything. So... Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, maybe maybe what we'll do is we'll do a post-Thanksgiving, how did the parade go, uh, review. And then, you know, they might, have the, uh, they might have the cutout uh, uh, people along the parade route. <laughs> you know, oh, like they do in the, the, the football baseball. games now, in the yeah. baseball <laughs> games. They got the cutout crowd and stuff. I lost it, guys. A few weeks ago, baseball game. Cut out people in the left field, you know, stands, and a ground ball, foul ground ball goes to the left fielder. He picks it up. He looks into the stands with the cutouts, and he tosses it into the stand like he's throwing it to a kid. I about fell out of my chair. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we that's normal. <laughs> that's normal. Yeah. Well, I, you know, th I think the Thanksgiving Day Parade itself is uh, a harbinger of the Rose Parade, uh, New Year's mm -hmm. Day. So we'll see. Well, you know, things are changing all the time. We'll see what happens. But Thanksgiving is not about a parade for me. It's about um, family. family and food and giving thanks. We always make everybody go around the table. What are you thankful for? Correct. Yeah. Correct. So that, that's, that's a great pretty, tradition. That's a great tradition. So uh, thank goodness, thank God for Thanksgiving. That's what I say. Absolutely. Great. So uh, any further things you want to talk about, Bill? You have a po no. you have a poem for us? No, I don't have a poem <laughs> for you. If you had given me a heads up, I could have come up with one, perhaps written one myself. Roses are what... red, violets are blue. Uh, no, we can't do that one. Yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't say limerick. Well, not all limericks end that way, but most yeah. do. In my world, they did. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving and take that time, take the, maybe a little extra time to think about everything that's going right in your life. And I know, again, we have struggles and there's all kinds of challenges, but there's also an awful lot of good stuff going on, too, in spite of what's going on in the world and in our world in America right now. So uh, there's a lot of good stuff going on. And and, and if it's if it's not, be the good that you want to see. I know that sounds trite, too, but um, we have a choice in who we are and just try to be the best person you can be as well. And I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. In fact, maybe even the best one you've ever had. And thanks, me. Thanks. I'm thankful for you guys uh, letting me uh, share some time with you guys. Well, Thank you, pleasure. Bill. Our pleasure. See ya. See ya.
For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.